Hello. I'm going to tell you about a chemical element that is involved in an enormous variety of products. An element that plays a part in ensuring that we are safe and healthy. That we have comfortable and energy efficient homes and can enjoy leisure time. It has also created an industry that provides jobs for many thousands of people across Europe. Chlorine, one of the most common elements in nature. It is all around us, with a surprising range of applications. A building block for thousands of other molecules, and without which, our today and tomorrow would be very different. 900 million people on our planet don't have enough food to eat. That's a big problem when only 5.5% of the Earth's surface can be farmed. And, with a global population rapidly growing, keeping people fed is a major challenge. At every stage, from planting to purchase, chlorine chemistry plays a critical part in helping to optimize food production and dramatically reduce the risk of lost crops. From the PVC polytunnels that provide perfect growing conditions for young plants, the crop protection chemicals that are used to make land richer and boost yields, to the PVC-based packaging that helps protect and retain food freshness, Chlorine-derived materials help to improve food production worldwide. So now you know how important chlorine-based chemistry is in helping to feed us. Eating well, it's a chlorine thing. Clean, safe water. It's something that most of us take for granted. In the United States, annual deaths from cholera totaled 25,000 in 1900. By 1960, this figure had fallen to fewer than 20. This incredible reduction came from water purification through chlorine. Today, over 90% of all European drinking water is clean and safe thanks to chlorine, the only disinfectant that will keep water safe all the way to the tap. It also controls taste and odour. At the 2002 World Summit on Sustainable Development, the global community committed to halve, by 2015, the proportion of people without access to safe and healthy drinking water. We are not there yet, but making progress thanks to chlorine. But it's not just water. More than 90% of all medicines rely on chlorine. Chlorine chemistry is used during the synthesis process of medicine manufacture and also provides the airtight sterile packaging in which the majority of pills or medicines are supplied. And without chlorinated solvents, we would also be without antibiotics, asthma and cholesterol treatments. Hypo, or as most of us know it, bleach, helps to keep our hospitals clean, hygienic and germ-free. PVC provides a safe and sterile material for use in the production of blood and intravenous bags. It is also used for the tubing in kidney dialysis apparatus. But chlorine also helps us to avoid the need for medical help. When it comes to safety, chlorine chemistry is critical. PVC equipment is used in aircraft evacuation slides, life jackets and life rafts. Taking things even further, chlorine chemistry is also found outside the Earth's atmosphere. Spacewalking astronauts are protected from extreme conditions by spacesuits made with materials developed from chlorine chemistry. So, chlorine chemistry has come a long way from that defining scientific discovery by Carl Wilhelm Schiele in Sweden in 1774. Life-changing, life-saving, with the ability to capture the power of the sun, chlorine has become the ultimate element of surprise. Staying healthy, it's a chlorine thing. As our cities are growing, our resources are decreasing. But these challenges force us to be smart. They encourage us to innovate and to use the resources that we do have wisely. As of 2014, around 75% of Europeans live in urban areas. These people require housing, public transport, shops and consumer goods, an infrastructure that will support a long, healthy life. Affordable and reliable energy is essential for prosperity. The EU Energy Performance of Buildings Directive requires that by 2020 all new buildings must be nearly zero energy buildings. This is only possible thanks to energy efficient materials that are produced through processes that involve chlorine. Polyurethane foam insulation is by far the most effective insulator. This helps us keep things cold, as in our AAA rated freezers, or cosy. The energy required to produce polyurethane insulation is recovered several times through the energy it saves. As well as insulation, chlorine is used in the manufacture of fuel cells and pipes. Self-cleaning windows, they are a reality thanks to chlorine. Polycarbonate roof panels provide a more energy-efficient alternative to glass, 
The photovoltaic panels and wind turbines that produce our clean energy use chlorine in their production. They power our low energy LED lighting, providing light, bright or romantic, which again use chlorine in their manufacture. You can see that chlorine helps us to save energy in our homes and businesses. Oh, that's better. You can see that chlorine helps us to save energy in our homes and businesses, but producing chlorine itself requires energy. We all know that energy prices have risen. Electricity now represents 50% of the production costs at chlorine plants. The European chlorine industry has plants across Europe employing thousands of people directly, to say nothing of the millions employed indirectly. But in order to be competitive, the EU must do all it can to provide affordable and reliable energy to the chlorine manufacturing industry. Being comfortably at home, it's a chlorine thing. Chlorine plays a large role in keeping us healthy, not just through medicines and in keeping things clean, but also in enabling us to play sport and perform to the best of our abilities. Sportsmen and women rely on PVC soles in their sports shoes, performance clothing that helps them compete in comfort and style, and the materials in their rackets, hurdles, grips and other equipment. There's hardly a sport that hasn't had performance improved by chlorine. Faster, higher, stronger. It's all possible through materials that rely on chlorine. Take running. 100 years ago, the fastest mile was run in 4 minutes, 12 seconds. Since then, the time has been reduced by an astonishing 29 seconds. Training plays a part, but polyester and nylon clothing, as well as polyurethane shoe soles and isotonic drinks, have contributed to this and other great athletic advances. This basketball, for example, PVC ensures that it bounces and remains perfectly round. And of course, our swimming pools are kept safe and clean thanks to chlorine. So we see the progress that is possible through the use of chlorine in sports equipment manufacture. But it's not just competitive sports. My bicycle frame, saddle and tyres can all be made from chlorine-derived materials. This protective helmet and high visibility vest, again, have been developed thanks to chlorine. They help make my journey a safe one. Speaking of journeys, did you know that 95% of chlorine manufactured in Europe is used or converted into other products on the same site? This reduces the amount of traffic on our roads and railways and ensures safety. Keeping fit, it's a chlorine thing. You may be surprised to learn that our leisure time would be considerably less interesting without chlorine. Had you ever considered that without chlorine, there would be no beetles, no rolling stones, no One Direction? Well, perhaps that's a little far-fetched, but chlorine is instrumental in the production of vinyl records that are in fact made of polyvinyl chloride. Yes, PVC. And when vinyl was largely replaced by the CD, chlorine was involved in that too. DVDs and Blu-rays, they all require chlorine in their manufacture. And when we want to come together for a good time, you can be sure that chlorine plays a part. As well as the music we hear in nightclubs, the sound systems used to amplify the music, the lights, the clothes we wear, the fireproof fabrics that all go to create a great ambience, they all involve chlorine in their manufacture. Today, you can carry a lifetime's worth of music in your pocket on an MP3 player or a smartphone. This development is only possible through chlorine chemistry. Vinyl records to CDs to today's smartphones, chlorine has been helping us all to have a good time for a long time. And the future? We can be sure that it will be full of innovation, thanks to, well you know what I'm going to say, having fun, it's a chlorine thing. So that was just a small insight into the vast contribution that chlorine makes to a surprising number of things. Chlorine touches all of our lives in so many ways. And where does chlorine come from? Salt, water and electricity are the raw materials required for the production of chlorine. In industry, chlorine is produced by the electrolysis of salt dissolved in water. This method, known as the chloralkali process, was industrialised in 1892 and is still the same principle used today. This process results in the production of chlorine, along with caustic soda and hydrogen. So you see that even the co-products are useful. They too are essential for everyday life. A sustainable industry that uses virtually inexhaustible, naturally occurring raw materials, salt and water, and enables us to lead the lives we want. So now you know. Our universe is a chlorine thing.